Uh, scales, you can probably best liken them to a tree. Uh, if you're familiar with aging a tree, they have rings. And fish scales are the same. And in the case of anadromous fish or all the salmonids that spend part of their life in freshwater and part in saltwater, um, you have a, a, a central part of the scale. And think of the scale as being primarily circular, but there's a central part of it um, where it actually attaches to the body of the fish that has freshwater growth rings. And those are much tighter, much smaller. And then when they get out into salt water, there's so many more food items available and the growth rate starts really taking off. So you get these bigger bands that occur. And it's just like a tree. You get slow growth in the winter when there's less food available. Water temperatures may be a little cooler. And then in the summer, you have more food items available and warmer water temperatures, greater foraging of fish. So the growth rings become bigger. So essentially what we do is we count the number of freshwater rings, the number of saltwater rings, and the combination of that will tell you the age of that fish. So, and we normally refer to it as, for example, a 1-3, which would mean in the case of king salmon uh, who reside in freshwater one year before out-migrating, uh, they spent one year, the one of the 1-3 uh, represents the freshwater year of residence and then they went out to sea they spent three years there and then returned as adults to spawn